welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are specially connected with katiba that's for sure okay look why you can't keep a job chosen one why you struggle to keep a job you like you can get a job okay you can get a job with ease first off job j-o-b just over broke let's just be honest no offense to anyone who has a job. Majority of the world has a job. We have to pay our bills. We have things that we want to do. I totally get it. This ain't to be offensive to nobody, but this is just to talk about why you struggle to keep a job. Like you get a job and you barely last a year in this job before you quit and going off to the next job. Like the job is just not fulfilling you. The job isn't even financially fulfilling you for real, for real. Cause you feel like you still need more money. You feel like it's still stuff that you want to do that you can't accomplish because you're working in this rat race to pay bill by bill. Like you look up, it's another bill. It's always something just taking your money and then you have just a little bit of money to do what it is that you want to do or you have to put a little bit of money to the side to save up to finally be able to do what it is that you want to do. And it's quite frustrating. <laughs> it's quite frustrating. I remember working and just feeling like, Lord, have mercy. Like every day wanting to quit. Every day wanting to quit in my last job, I wanted to quit so bad and I just kept working. I'm like, I'm just going to save some money, save some money. And finally it got to the point where they ended up, um, they ended up laying everybody off. Not everybody. I actually was one of the people who could have kept my job, but then I came home. <laughs> I came home and I said, oh, they fired everybody. <laughs> just so I wouldn't seem like the bad guy. Like, oh no, I was about to quit anyway. So this was actually, it was actually a blessing in disguise, but I could have stayed, but I'm just like, yeah. They fired everybody, so I I don't work there anymore. <laughs> it all worked out perfectly, but look, I get it. it. This is this is what society has set up for us. You work a job, you pay your bills. This is how you have to eat. This is how you have to take care of your family. A lot of people don't know no other way. I get it. I understand. Like, I personally don't work a job. But I do recognize, like, I think I, I just learned this the other day. They say manifestors are only, a, it's only like a 9% chance of people being a manifester on this earth. While I do believe a lot of chosen ones can manifest, it's very hard. It's very hard with all the noise around. So a lot of us, we are like between the noise between our jobs between our families between society just going out in the streets out in the restaurants out in the parks like anywhere you go it's so much noise and it's hard to be able to tap into our powers when we have so much noise around us this is why when you this is why you finally have a spiritual awakening when you get quiet like when you get still when you get away from all of the noise when you switch up your lifestyle when you stop being around certain people like when you only be around a select few people like this is why you have a spiritual awakening then because you can hear what's going on <laughs> Like you can feel the vibrations, like you're able to be uh, guided in such ways. Why you can't keep a job, why you struggle to keep a job is because your job is not fulfilling you. And your soul wants to do something that is fulfilled within. Your soul wants to do something that it would do, even if, even if you didn't get paid for it, you would enjoy doing it. You have a a greater mission here on this earth chosen one and i get it's hard to figure it out sometimes sometimes it's a challenge to figure it out you don't know what god wants you to do you're like god what do you want me to do like i do this it don't work i do that it don't work because you're thinking about the money because you're thinking about the money but i think like i wholeheartedly think your mission is just to be you be whatever your soul desires you to be because it is a great person your soul wants to be a great person. Your soul wants to help elevate the vibrations on this planet just by being you. I think it's very simple, but it's like, well, how do I get paid just by being me? Because when people like you, people, they're going to buy into, they're going to buy into you. They're going to pour into you. They're going to be invested in you. But it's not that easy. And it's, uh... It takes work just like a job. So it's like, I get it. It's easier to just go... I'm going to get this guaranteed money. I'm going to, like, not everybody is built to be an entrepreneur. I wholeheartedly get it. I get it. 
but something in you struggles to keep a job it's like you're at the job you don't you your vibrations don't match with the the co-workers like people got their clicks people still acting like it's high school people like and you got your select few people that you barely rock with your associates and it's like you don't really have time for that you don't really have time for that you don't like rules you don't like people telling you what to do you don't like the fact that they telling you when to eat when to get up when to report there every day some days you just want to call off some days you just want to call off and you just don't even want to go. Sometimes you just don't even want to come back. Sometimes you just want to fill out a new application and just go somewhere else. But you know that that probably ain't going to fulfill you either. Only thing that's going to get you about it there is if they're offering you more money. You struggle to keep a job because you got something better your soul wants to be doing with this time. With this time here and this earthly experience, your soul wants to be doing something different. Your soul don't want to be moving like a robot. You have a free spirit. So your your spirit wants to move as such. But it's hard to move as such when you're caught up in a rat race. When you're caught up in society. When you're caught up doing what everyone else is doing. When you're caught up in the 9 to 5 cycle. Um, just waking up doing the same thing every day, going to sleep, waking up, and doing it all over again. Your soul is very tired. This is why you can't keep a job. This is why three months come, six months come, you're like, uh, I'm done with this. Like, okay, the money is cool, but it's like, at this point, you'd rather take less money to have better experiences. Like, you live for experiences, and your soul wants to experience this is why you struggle to keep a job because God really don't even want to experience that job through you. God got enough people to experience a job through. Like, it's so many jobs. There's so many people doing the same thing. God want to do something different through you. This is why you struggle to keep a job because something with them jobs, they just don't sit, sit right with your spirit. They just don't. And you might duke it out and you may have, you may have retired, but the entire time you felt like you just wanted to quit, like every day, every day. Like, use your job though. I'll be honest with you. Use your job. Your job is a blessing. Your job really is a blessing. Use your job to invest. Use your job to be able to stack up some money, to be able to buy your time back, to be able to like, it's gonna take some work for sure, for sure. But it's like, either you're gonna struggle with a good outcome, a better outcome, or you're gonna struggle and just stay struggling in the job. Like you struggle to keep a job because you have so many gifts and so many talents, like that are meant to be shared with the world. What you doing for that com with for that company is is light work. It's little work. It's work that any and everybody can be doing. But what you have inside of you, not any and everybody can like not any and everybody have that. You have something very special to share with the world. This is why you struggle to keep a job because when you're doing these jobs, you don't have time to focus on that. When you get off that job, you don't feel like working on your uh, your gifts and your talents or perfecting your craft. You don't feel like using any energy that you got. You just want to go on autopilot and let your hair down. So it's like the only way that you feel free is when you off of a job, when you in between jobs, like when you when you're not working. When you're not working, it's like when you, you don't, you're not the type of person that likes to be obligated to something. Like, yes, you do it because you have uh, bills to take care of. You have family to take care of. You have yourself to take care of. But would you rather be doing that or would you rather be doing something that's just like freeing and fulfilling? Some people say that they love their job and I don't knock them. This video isn't for them. This video is for the ones who are struggling to keep a job. Like, 
you more interested in a job where you can pick your own schedule you can pick your own like like you can you can do gigs like you can you're a freelancer like you're more so into that type of stuff and that type of stuff will get you it it will help fulfill you as well because you have more time like you get paid more by the hour versus how much you know how much time that you're putting into it and you can work on any gifts any talents that you have like things that fulfill you things that help elevate um the planet so if this video resonate if it hit different let me know how so in the comment section below if you struggle to keep a job if you ain't worked a job in a while like let me know <laughs> if you enjoyed it let me know that is all i have for this video if you're new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button stay spiritually used stay spiritually attuned and i'll see y'all on the next one peace